What is good, everybody? This is another watch party with Cardi. All right, today we got Adam Calhoun. We were young. This just came out uh, earlier this today, like I don't know, five six hours ago, I think. I don't know. Let's see here. Seven hours ago. All right, so this is Adam Calhoun. We were young. I got the closed caption on because I want to. Uh, I don't know. I like reading what they what they have to say, man. I like reading like that. Social media, the poison, take your feelings and exploit it. If you don't get the likes, somehow you feel less important. You can't beat them, join them. Fuck that, I'll beat them and enjoy it. I built my own shit, it's only me who can't destroy it. All right, he came off right off the rip <laughs> saying some uh, true statements here. Social media, the poison, take your feelings and exploit it. If you don't get the likes, somehow. Social media, what did he say? Social media, the poison, take your feelings and exploit it. Social media, as most, I don't know about y'all, but me, I have a love hate for social media. It is poisonous. It will turn people into keyboard warriors. It will put, make everybody put everything they know about you, especially if they hate you. I wonder if they hate you. They will put everything they know about you out there. Um, but I love it because it's a, a good tool. It's a good tool. I got family. I got a brother in Florida. I got a brother and sister in Arizona. And now I live in Virginia. So my kids are back in Illinois. Um, I got family up there, family in Wisconsin, family in Virginia. And... <clears throat> It's a way for me to communicate with them. And you know how many people I've met playing, like, just playing video games? Let's just take the internet, for example. Video games. And now we are friends on social medias. And I have met some of these people in real life now. So, I mean, social media can be good. Can be good if it's used for good. But a lot of people use it for the wrong ways. Um, yeah, and then, obviously, as anybody that's independent... <laughs> independent anything you want to get your name out there social media post your video post uh, any kind of advertisement just to get it out there all right enough of me rambling let's get going if you don't get the like somehow you feel less important you can't beat them join them fuck that i'll beat them and enjoy it i built my don't get the likes um what does it say sorry for pausing right away i'm trying to break this down a little bit you can't if you can't beat them join them uh yeah if you don't have the likes i guess i don't know let's keep it going i built my own shit it's only me who can't destroy it the devil is alive look in the palm of your hand everyone That's you facts. know on the phone they post on instagram little girls turn to hoes exposed on only fans know how to break the home get rid of the can't really say oh yeah they're exposing themselves but yeah it is that is true that's another evil little social media right there Go back to with what he's saying here. Um, what it used to be. Let's go back. What they were saying. Running out the house and playing in the street. Didn't care what they were saying on a TV. Uh, yes. Myself personally. I remember. Me and my cousins. Mainly me and my cousins. I, hey. Want to go outside and throw the frisbee around? Where we go? We went out to the street, throw the frisbee back and forth, play the games of five hundred with the football, um, just playing catch with the football. Um, 
some stupid dribbling games with basketballs, you know? Um, riding our bikes, skateboards, rollerblades, whatever. You know, we're, it was all on the street. You don't see that nowadays. I mean, we try to keep our kids out of the street, but where I'm from, I'm from a little small town. A little small town of 800 people. I know a lot of people don't get to um, experience that alone. You know, you're in big towns, big cities. You can't play in the street. So, um, not caring what they have, what they're saying on TV. No, you don't really care. One thing you want to know, what is the newest, hottest song out? You know what I mean? <laughs> With the MTV, BT, CMT, whatever. Well, I get to see those new music videos every week. Seeing who was on the top 10. That was the only thing you cared about seeing on TV. Let me fast forward it back a little bit. Here we go. Now I can't feel myself Why you rather see me die Listen to the shit I write I ain't a black rapper I can still kill a mic Run the jewels Keep your flowers I ain't trying to hear my hype My mental health is fucked All these followers and likes Kalanapin got me nodding Ain't trying to die tonight Opposition rather See, I'm not I'm not no Adam Calhoun Ryan Up Church I am nobody big You know what I mean um, These guys got millions of followers and they get millions of comments and stuff. They get a lot of hate. They get a lot of um, controversial stuff. They get a lot of love. And I can see where it could mess with somebody's men mental state, you know. I mean I, I mean, I get hate in my comments here. They talk about you pause too much. Well, it's me wanting to talk about the song, you know. <laughs> I'm, it's, I'm, I'm reacting in a sense or just... As well, the watch party's just telling you what the song meant to me or what stuff like that. You know, I get a lot of hate about that. I don't I don't let I don't let the negativity bother me, man. I laugh at it and I move on. I don't respond. But uh, being someone bigger like these guys, I can see where it can mess with it. See me fail, fuck them, get a life. Get my middle finger too, I got my hands tattooed It shows the pain I've been dragged through Offer me the stomach like fast food Take this shit away, it's past due The bad moves <laughs> Who remembers the day when fast food was a privilege? It was something that uh, It wasn't your everyday meal It wasn't something you went and ate every day Now it's something you go and eat every day Because of the convenience and it being right there and there's so much of it back back when i was younger it was a privilege to be able to go eat that was once in a while thing like once a month thing and it wasn't because a money situation i mean i didn't i family never had a lot of money but we weren't poor i mean i guess i got my clothes where i got them at but i wasn't we was never hurting really but we weren't struggling so i mean when we got to town like i said i'm in a town of 800 people when we got to went grocery shopping once in a while we would stop by mcdonald's you know that, that was a treat that was a privilege that was a treat there to be able to do that now it's every day's everybody's everyday meal I'm about to crack like glass do. I thought we were bad smoking pot in bathrooms. Now kids go to school and getting shot in classrooms. These phones are bad news. Take away the internet now and see what that do. When we were young, I wish you could have So another love hate with the internet stuff. Um Yeah, I wish we could take away the internet. I wish. But well, all of our money. All of our money is all electronic nowadays, man. All of our electronics, no, money is electronic nowadays. Also, me on the other hand, uh, let me see if I can get this pull up real quick. So, a lot of y'all might know. No, oh, shoot, it's not going to work right now. Let me close everything out and reopen it back up. Nope, it's not going to open up. I gotta restart my phone. But anyways, so majority of you guys will not know. 
some of you guys do, uh, mainly just my friends. So, my name, Cardiac Kid. Just take that for a second. Cardiac Kid. Cardiac is your heart, okay? I was 31, diagnosed with a genetic heart condition. I'm going to say this name two different ways. Say it the hard way and the easy way. Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, and then also known as hokum. I had to have open heart surgery at the age of 32 in and, and, uh, 2018. And in the process of that, you know, they uh, don't know your electrical system. They know your electrical system is in your inner muscle. And that's where I had to have surgery done on. Um, in the process of that, they hit my electrical system. And uh, now I am 100% dependent on a pacemaker defibrillator. And I got this tool on my phone, go figure, of all things. Of all things that you have to have. And bring it up now. It's an app. It's an app that monitors. I don't know if you can read that or not. Probably not. Maybe right there. Let me. It monitors my pacemaker. It sends the information to my doctor at all times. It monitors. See that? Medtronics. It monitors me. Make sure everything is in well oiled working condition. So, and but that is due to the internet. Sorry for rambling. Let's keep it rolling. I like the fact that he's riding a bike in here too. That goes to show uh, our age. <laughs> so back in the day, when we was younger kids, where, where's all of our friends at? Right around town, running around the neighborhood, whichever one you want to call it. You know, for me, the eight hundred people town. So you had right around the whole town. Um, where's everybody at? Okay. You see the group of bikes, bicycles, that's so-and-so's, that's Johnny's, that's Timmy's, you know. Bicycle. Oh, that's where all oh, everybody's at. If I could pull up, you know, go knock on the door. Hey, da-da-da. Yeah, come on in. <laughs> or they're in the back. Yeah. And you see, wherever the group of bicycles were, that's where your friends were. There was no social media, no cell phone to do 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 call, text keep track of you so but yes i like this song this is a good song um yeah we need to, if we could just simplify some stuff here technology is good in a sense but horrible at the same time catch y'all the next one peace